Hare Krishna. Hello, hello, and thank you very much, Radhubhav and Govinda. And those who will hear us, welcome. And I'm your servant, Radha Charandas. Hare Krishna. I'm Govinda Charandas. Hare Krishna, it's me, Radhubhav Dasi. <laughs> and this is Sangha Podcast. So, kamusta? Ribo! <laughs> Medyo, ano, hindi ko alam kung introduce ko sarili ko or magaya ko ulit kayo, Maraj. <laughs> It's okay. okay. Siguro Maraj kasi is um, taking a pic, giving us his darshan. <laughs> so, kamusta? 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 What's happening? Mm. A lot's happening. Yeah. <laughs> or is about to happen. Since a lot is about to happen, a lot is happening. Mm-hmm. Mm. Like right like, now, like right now, this podcast mm-hmm. is It's been how many months prepare preparation? <laughs> talking about for half a year, half a year <laughs> preparation for four months, mm. like that. Finally, no. <laughs> been moving for. Two, two months? Yes. Yeah, right. And now we're live. Yeah. And madami mga yari then after a few weeks. For me, I'll be with Guru Maharaj in Singapore. I believe. Sunod kayo doon. Then I'll come back for, we'll come back. Then I'll stay for less than a week. And I have to go yeah. to Mumbai para sa GBC College for less than or almost two weeks. Then come back, stay for a week again. Then Guru Maharaj and I and one cook will go to Govardhan um, Retreat Center, stay there for three months. Mm. So, ganun yung mga kaganapan sa buhay. I think susunod ka, susunod ka sa Maya, Mayapur. Mayapur first? Uh, on Feb? Mm. You'll be there until March? Yeah. <clears throat> I'll be there Feb in Mayapur. And then come March, we'll be... And Govardhan as well. So, okay, okay, we're already done. Yeah. You're right above. What mm-hmm. will happen? What will happen? Like, where? It's a buhay. Oh, I recently got accepted in an asset management firm. Mm. And I'm starting work on November 19. Oh, that's nice. At least I'm 18, about 19. Parang 19, no? Uh, you're leaving in 19. 19. Yeah. yeah, there's Umaga. a lot of things yeah. happening on November happening 19. 19th. That's yeah. so nice. So, what's your plan? How about go work and how do you plan to practice your bhakti? Yeah, so, of course, there's the daily requirement of chanting 16 rounds mm-hmm. every day. I'm going to gauge how that goes, but my standard, my, my personal standard for chanting daily, if I get employed, Is you are empl- employed. <laughs> if I get if I start my employment is, um, because work starts at 8 a.m. Mm, so I'll mm. chant, hopefully from 5 a.m. to 7 a.m. If not, I'll see. I'll see how it goes. I'll always have time mm. after before or after work. So I'll see. I I really have no idea. I'm gonna play it by ear. Hmm. Hmm. You work before, right? How do you do it? Mm, you have to wake up early. Um, chant in the car. <laughs> in the car. <laughs> chant in the car. Chant before. Mm, chant when I get home because after five, five thirty. No more is it, personal time. Mm. It's a uh, there's a boundary, at least in work, in corporate work that when it comes to five five thirty, no one's mm. under. You don't. You can't expect anyone to really answer unless it's urgent. Unless your boss talk to you that you have to answer, but otherwise you can do your bhajan. Mm. You can read, you can practice musical instruments, you can chant, do puja if if you do puja, like that. Or if you have some service in temple, or if you have devotees. service, yeah, yeah. But for me, at least, because my my work was 
it had a lot of presentations. Mm-hmm. So, and it was the beginning of me working. So in the first few months, although it's only until five, what is expected of me is to be to be doing my presentations after that time. Mm-hmm. Right. And also is when you go into a job, the first few weeks is more learning, learning a lot, learning how the company works, learning how people work and then learning your business. So there's a few things and you talk to a lot of people. So in the first few weeks, it was hard mm-hmm. maintaining in 16 rounds. But after... After you get used to it and things become more seamless, it gets easier to practice. Yeah. So a series of adjustments talaga. Yeah. Series of adjustments. Yeah. That's nice. Are you excited? No. <laughs> <laughs> Are you nervous? No. You're just detached. Neutral. Neutral. <laughs> Yogi. <laughs> According to the Bhagavad Gita. <laughs> A devotee must be equipoise. equipoise. <laughs> no, I'm joking. For me, I, at I'm first, I was this. elated. Mm. I was elated. Oh, I'm going to work. This is going to be nice. Mm. You meet new people like that. But then <laughs> when the work came, I was like, oh, <laughs> no. I think that's a challenge oh. there. No? How yeah. to show up. Yeah, that's a challenge. Yeah. Um, after a few weeks, there is a both challenge. So the showing up is not so hard to do. Mm-hmm. Because, you know, you you sign a contract, you really have to you have to pretend. do your obligation. Mm. The there, but there's a test of sincerity when it comes to your practice. That's what I'm thinking about. Yeah. Like how showing up to work is a non-negotiable for every day. So mm. it's chanting at five yeah. to seven a.m. for me at least. Mm-hmm. I don't know how well I can stick to it, but I feel like. It's a non-negotiable for me right now. Unless it's not that, like, I'm, yeah, night yeah. before. I don't think no? so. Like okay. for me, it's really gonna be a non-negotiable. Mm. It's like being vegetarian, you know, for for, for the work at least. Mm-hmm. I feel like I won't get to go through the work day if I don't chant from no. five to seven a.m. Of course, Govinda Chan and I are totally different yeah. people. So what I do before, and I'm like, also like highly adaptable. Mm. Like I so, don't need extra time to adjust. Mm. Zakhbal, so, well, your work mas office eh? Sa kas sa niya kasi yeah. field yeah. Siya, eh? yeah, it's different. Yeah, it's different. Mm-hmm. So different talaga, different situations. It tailor fit mo talaga kung paano yung practice mo ng spiritual life, no? How do you plan for your prasadam, no? Luto. I already watched a couple um <laughs> meal prep. Oh nice. One day meal prep for the whole week. YouTube vloggers. I think it's doable. Yeah. Hindi ko naman. Tapos uh, calculated like mo lahat pre, ng calories. Yeah, like ano. Pre-fri- no, I don't do that. <laughs> macros. <laughs> macros. I don't no. do that. <laughs> Nakala ko mo pa. Not lifting or <laughs> trying to build muscle. <laughs> nah. So si, yung, yung DTs mo yung altar mo, busog sila ng one day. One day ka mag-offer, tas the rest for one week na to. <laughs> Let's see. I actually plan to still offer at night. Uh, yeah, of course. Pwede pala yun. No? Yes, very simple. Soup or Fresh noodle, naman. noodle, stir fry. So you, you, you're still going to prepare your prasadam in the evenings? Yeah. That might be... I haven't figured out a system yet specifically for every day. I'm going to figure it out as it goes along. But that can also be a thing. Like, I can prepare dinner, mm-hmm. offer to the Lord, then also have that for breakfast and lunch the next day. I heard sobrang favorable din ng timings ng schedule mo for work kasi you can work in the office for a few days, then you can work from home, diba? Yeah. Like how many days ka sa office? It's a three-day work week, but mm. we're required to go either on Monday or Friday. So non-negotiable yun, either Monday or Friday. Yeah. Hmm. So I can do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, then bye guys. <laughs> bye guys. Or Monday, Wednesday, Are Thursday. You, do you need to be live na naka-online ka or no. para may assignment? It's just yung? a task done. Oh. Depends. Sometimes we'll have meetings for certain projects. I still have no idea what exactly I'm going to do. They're going to give me two roles mm-hmm. as an analyst and a trader. Mm-hmm. So so to see what my inclination is. That's nice. That's nice. Because you can spend time in the temple. You can spend time in other hobbies. Yes, that's mo. exactly why I took this work opportunity yeah. also. In other mm. places, in other countries, 
ganun din ba talaga na parang six days a week talaga yung work? Or specific lang talaga, sobrang blessed It's ka lang five, ni Krishna? Three days. <laughs> five, three, days. Five, yeah. three days face five to day. face. Oh. Five day work week. Five day work week. Oh. They're not lessening it. Yeah. Nice. Um, but three days face to face. Pero sa other corporate, yung sa work mo before, ilang days ka? Five days? Five days run. One day, actually, because field, they say it's work from home, but it's field. <laughs> field, pupunta na pa sa play. Yeah, places. because you're not in the office. Mm-hmm. So, but one day in the office, at least. That's so nice. Talagang, binigyan ni Christian ng favorable circumstances to practice both. Yes, and you know how they say if you turn 25, you suddenly have like this urge to start your adult life. I feel like that's what happened to me when I took this job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah there's like something that turns on when you're, you, yeah. you turn 25 like Ooh, oh suddenly I want serious life yeah a lot of the conversation I had with my friends when I meet with them is about that it's like oh, a so quarter like 25 sa kayo circular, circular friends nyo na sa yeah. ganong age no? it's like a quarter life thing that you start to realize what am I gonna do with my life oh. <laughs> I have to make something ganon or yeah. at least do something that's gonna sustain me mm. like that. So, perhaps your prime age. Getting, no? Sa kan 25, nag, naisip ko mag seryoso mag spiritual life, mag quit ng business. <laughs> Balik tayo. <din. laughs> Ito mean, na. Gradually, kailangan ko na ma, ma-transition yung life ko. Oh, ne, napaisip ka dun sa what am I gonna do? Hanggang, hindi ka na. Ano na, yung palalim na siya ng palalim. Yeah. That's nice. Actually, ay naman yung ano eh. Kahit naman, kahit naman sa different countries, yung mga devotees, yung mga nagka-practice spirituality, it's how you practice spirituality whatever circumstances yung meron ka. Like Arjuna yeah. nga sa Bhagavad Gita. It doesn't have to be, you doesn't have to be in the temple lang para mapag-practice. Yes. So you have, you have different um, services and also means para maka-serve ka. And sometimes you have, you need some, you need work business. Yeah. And as weird as this sounds, parang kumuha ko ng job para din mas maseryoso ko yung, sp- yung spiritual life ko. <laughs> paano? Paano yun? Mm. Explain mo. Because I feel like if I have a duty, then it, if, I, if I have a material duty, then I can more seriously take into, take into, take into, take into, take into consideration that I also have a spiritual duty. Oh. So, para ba siyang mas na balance mo yung life mo parang ganun? Mm. Yes and no. Yes and no. Mm-hmm. I feel like if I had a job, then it would give me a chance to know what it's really like to dedicate everything I do for Krishna and and learn that stretch that I could. Because when I started practicing, I just got out of college and I haven't been employed ever. Mm. So it's a chance to see how much I can use dovetailing as a yeah. means to I like the word practice. you said, na, stretch. No? You feel like my stretch ka talaga sa work. I mean, I haven't started. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's Baka sure. ma-intimidate sila sa akin na spiritual life ka nandito? <laughs> or spiritual life ka nandito? You're working para ma-maintain mo or ma-stretch mo rin yung spiritual life mo. How? <laughs> no. Pero it's nice. It's a nice ma-intimidate reflection. Ma-intimidate sila. Weird yeah. naman itong batang to. <laughs> Pero, so, oh, Gen Z. <laughs> narindig ko nga sa inyo, di ba? Parang, ayun nga, yung, yung generation ninyo is they're much more open to this much more like yung sabi mo nga yung in-interview ka they asked about saan yung Frederick Village yes diba ano ginagawa mo dyan and all mas open sila sa mga ganitong bagay yeah. is it gener- a generational thing or nangyayari na talaga ngayon dahil sa internet it's, it's actually because of after pandemic they understood that most of the new graduates they don't have much experience at OJT because you know, mm. they're online Plus, it's very hard to get a job to. It's very hard after the pandemic. So, come like two years back until now, they're more open to seeing what have you, where do you spend your time in? Mm. And how do you build yourself? So, when it comes to jobs, it's more less than, more 
how you carry yourself, how you think, your behavior, rather than... And then secondary na yung qualification mo. Because they can teach anyone. You, yeah, you know, can yeah. teach anyone. But the attitude you cannot teach. It comes ingrained in someone. Yeah. I think spiritual life, ganun din eh. Ganun din spiritual life. Eh. Um, minsan yung intelligence or madalas yung intelligence is pwedeng matutunan mo talaga, tsagain mo, aralin mo, or bigyan sa'yo, bigay sa'yo by mercy ni Krishna eh. Pero yung sincerity mo, yung humility ng isang tao, and yung um, determination to serve, mm-hmm. ayun yung pinakakailangan talaga. Of course, yung love, yeah. doing that service. Applicable siya sa spiritual life eh. Minsan makikita natin, like yung pinag-usapan natin palagi, may mga devotees na sobrang simple lang, or nakita natin dun sa pag, if nasa India tayo, may mga simple na mga Raja Basis doon or mga devotees sa Brindavan nag lang sila ng dust ng Brindavan. Actually, yung mga tao, yung mga saintly person, nagdadasal para doon sa position na yun eh. Mm. Kasi yung love is hindi siya um, directly related to sa intelligence. Specifically, yung love kay Krishna. And I guess, yeah. doon sa work, ganun din eh. If, like yung sabi mo nga, yung mga, siguro yung mga employee, employers, they look at the employees or those who are applying ano yung kaya niyang gawin? Ano yung ginagawa niya outside work? Mm. And doon mo mag-gage ano yung kaya niya gawin sa work? Doon meron pa rin threshold. A threshold that they need at least a minimum, di ba? Of course. Of But course. There's one interview that I went to. na Because I was going to interviews newly nun. Eh. Mm. And when I was talking to him, he asked a question about my experience. Like, so what did you learn about this experience? It's, it was the experience of going out of the country and then uh, participating in, in international handball tournament. So what did you learn there? I think parang leadership, something yung ano niya, or challenge. Mm-hmm. Right? Hindi ko na answer. Hindi ko siya na answer. Nang, nang gusto niya marinig. Mm-hmm. So although maganda yung reference ko, maganda yung background, yung resume, Your attitude is almost there, but because hindi niya kwaeng answer na will really you mindset na kailangan sa job nyan. Sabi niya, kulang eh, kulang. Galang. So explain niya niya yon yung kulang, ay yung yung parang kulang do sa interview. Yeah, yeah. That's nice. So yun yah, I mean, you can really see na both dun sa uh, outside world or in work world, corporate world, it's. Almost the same what they do in spiritual life, or with spiritual life you can see yung mm-hmm. yung para yung parallel parallelity ng how they do things because is this is what's really gonna show yung success when you do something. It's not what you do. It's really ano yung yung ay sincerity mo yung attitude. In the work ethics. Yeah. yeah. Importante, importante yan. Galing yan. Actually, na-observe ko sa mga devotees in different countries. Of course, and then yung differences ng culture. Like, sa India, mapansin natin doon, yung ibang devotees, even mga doctors, mga nag-work sa government, they could wear their tilak, they could wear their kantimala, or may sika sila. Then they know, of course, doon sa India, pag John Master, may alam na mga nasa India yon. Hindi siya laging applicable sa ibang bansa. Like mm. sa Philippines, it's open. Countries are open. Um, the, country, the country is open for this kind of spirituality. Pero hindi rin siya ganun ka always welcome kasi it's a Christian or Catholic country. So, yung holiday natin is naka-based dun sa calendar, based dun sa practice ng Christianity or sa Catholicism. Yeah. So, hindi ka pa din magpaalam basta-basta na, oh, ano ngayon, John Master me, kaya walang pasok na ang holiday. <laughs> yeah. Or yung tilak is not that, um, it's welcome, maybe different, ano lang, different companies, pero it's gonna be kind of, um, kind of weird doon sa iba. Kasi, ayun nga, it's good then if they ask you, you have to explain again and again. Pero hindi natin nakita madalas ginagawa ng devotees dito yun. For certain reasons. Of, mm. Meron din mga ibang countries talaga na hindi siya applicable. Diba? Pero isa yung napansin ko eh. 
different na um, countries ang essence pa rin kung paano mo i-apply yung life mo sa um, balance ng spirituality mo at the same time sa work mo. Lalo na ano yung gagawin mo pag uwi mo sa bahay. <laughs> yeah. Ay, kasi yung temple mo eh, yung little temple mo eh. And ano rin yung gagawin mo of course sa mga free time mo? Punta ka ba sa temple? May service ka pa rin na may maintain? And um, na may maintain mo ba yung sana na mo? I think it's hindi siya nalalayo sa devotees na nakatira sa loob ng temple. Those are in the ashram. Eh. Kasi you have your own services din eh. sa loob ng temple. Then it's how you practice your sadhana pa rin. Kahit sobrang busy. It's how you practice yung um, service attitude pa rin. And of course, yung mga nasa ashram, duty rin naman lumabas para dalawin yung mga na doon sa mga nag-work. So yes. it's, it's a nice, it's a nice, ano, um, para harmony. Mm. And also like, for example, what, with what you were saying, parang ano gagawin ng pag-uwi mo. Mm-hmm. Hindi naman siya just for the sake of being productive for myself, eh. Mm-hmm. Parang kung buksan ko yung libro ko at magbasa ko ng Bhagavad Gita, mm-hmm. magka-uwi galing sa work, hindi ko yung ginagawa lang para sa sarili ko. Ginagawa mm-hmm. ko yun para kay Srila Prabhupada, mm-hmm. para kay Krishna. So, it's not just a means of like being qualified or productive. It's being devoted talaga. Yeah. That's like the good thing about this practice, at least for me. It's a so, service. So it's like, mm. it's fine. Like, I'm not scared or nervous because I feel like it's just part of a bigger plan, I guess. That's also why I'm like, eh. <laughs> So no, neutral and relaxed. Yeah, no lang. fear. No, yeah. Not fear, really. But it's so nice kasi lapit din naman work mo dun sa, sa, sa place mo. Ano? Yeah, 20-minute travel. That's why I'm like, hmm, yeah. chant pa ba ako? 20-minute travel? Yeah. Oh, three rounds din yun. <laughs> oh, three rounds din yun. Hindi <laughs> pa din naman nag-meditated na siya. Baka mag-drive ako eh. Uh, really? Baka ako. Oh. It's kind of a hassle though to drive if because if you have the luxury of a driver. You know, I want to so. I want to do it because I want to have an excuse to leave. Leave <laughs> 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 That's okay then. Like oh. to have a good chance to like yeah. leave and come early like at my will. Uh, like I don't have to yeah. wait for someone. That's right. That's right. Mm. Like you know the 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 parang pag magbubuy ka na sa mga kaibigan mo tapos nagbuka ng Grab. Kailangan mo yeah, paantayin yeah. together. Yeah. Pero pag may kotse ka, yeah. y- ikaw yung uuwi mo nang aalis eh, yeah. 'di ba? Oh. <laughs> Sige ha, ito na mauuna na kami. <laughs> <laughs> 'Di ba? Well, that's one thing. That's one thing. And marami ka mapapakinggan na lecture, 20 minutes going there or coming back sa bahay oh, yeah. mo. Pwede ka mag-play ng, 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 ng lecture. Ng Sangga podcast. Ng Sangga bag. 7 to 7.30. <laughs> <laughs> diba? diba? Yeah. No, 20 30 minutes, then coming coming back, 20 30 minutes. So you're planning to drive? Yeah. Even if I don't know how. Then you Yet. learn. Then you learn. You can easily learn. So next time, ikaw na mag-drive para sa amin. Pwede. <laughs> Maghanap ko lang ng parking though. Your usual parking. Pero pag, oh. pag nag-orange na si Govinda Charan, hmm. kayo lang sa likod, tas ako lang sa harap. <laughs> <laughs> driver na driver na thing, no? Mm. Uber driver. Ama, padala kami sa, ano? <laughs> Dito lang Rush po. Eco Village. Dito. Pwede mo mag-buy ng Gcash. <laughs> Magin naman yun. naka-credit yun. card po. Ah, credit card. <laughs> naka, ano, naka-fleet. Naka-fleet po. <laughs> Magin naman yung work niya, madali naman yata mag-park that time. Uh, you have to be really early. Because by, if you arrive there seven, it's full. Tignan natin. Being full. At least sa BGC, ganun, 7 o'clock is full. 6.30 is full. Sa Rockwell. Uy, Six. pwede yun. Nadalating na ako ng 5, tapos doon na ako mag-chachant. <laughs> <laughs> yun talaga, di ba? Hey, no, best talaga, di ba? Oh. Or at least 6, you'd be, you be there. Ay, a six, ganun. Be there six. Mm. Pwede. Baka may mga snack area naman doon na pwede ka mag-stretch, stretch, pwede mag-yoga, pwede mag- Oh, especially it's, it's a rock girl. Diba? Oh, diba? Ano? Yeah, Wala ba siyang parang uh, tie-up ng mga gym or yoga place doon? sa work nyo. May ganun ba? Ano natin? Oh, may, hindi ba? Sa yoga studio pa lang. Ang yaman naman nila. Paan to? Rock Google. <laughs> Google ba? Oh, hindi naman no. Google eh. <laughs> Why na? Ano naman siya eh. Usually, meron naman talaga. Usually Ito natin. Meron. Oh. So, ang ganda kasi parang, ang, hindi ko masabing exciting, pero, 
uh, paano yung term na yun? Parang... Bago. Yeah, it's new. Then kakapain Novel. natin. Novel. Novel. Yeah. Kung ano yung mangyayari next time sa next sa mga sessions natin, makukwento mo sa amin ano nangyayari na. <laughs> ano yung adjustments mo? Ano yung ginagawa mo ngayon? Mm-hmm. Diba? Tignan natin kung magagawa ko talaga yung 5 to 7 a.m. Oh, yeah. Yeah, just have to... And I'm gonna be real with you guys about it. Yeah. Na-exciting doon yung food mo eh. Nagawa ano, <laughs> yung mga paper frame mo. <laughs> no one week. Yeah, that's gonna be nice. Tofu, ano? Tofu filet. Para mangyayari. Dadoblohin mo. Tapos sasend mo dito pang one week. <laughs> oh, wow. <man. laughs> Kukunin pa yung ulam niya. Ano sa pagkain niya. No? Pinahirapan pa ako, guys. <laughs> Pag nadalaw ka sa kanila, nadalaw ka sa kanya, kukunin mo pa yung pagkain niya. <laughs> yun lang naman yung pinuntan niya. Ano, Papalta naman ng fresh. Papalta naman ng ibang yeah. prasyada. Papalta mo ng ano, ingredients. Yeah. <laughs> Ginawa akong cook niya din. No? I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's gonna, just gonna be nice. Funny lang, yeah. funny. Kasi for, for a week, eh, yung ano mo eh, expected mo na yung kakainin mo oh. eh, di ba? Masarap din minsan na, eh, na may variety na surprise. Ano kaya magiging pagkain ko today? Okay. Random. Random. Pipikit ako. <laughs> <laughs> Roulette. <laughs> Roulette na. <laughs> Pipikit ako, tapos kung ano na nalang. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Then, you'll be able to really regulate yung time mo sa araw. Yung ilang oras ka mag-work, anong oras ka magbabasa, anong oras ka mag-chant. It's a preparation. Kasi pag walang ganun, minsan, yung free flow ng buhay, ng araw, parang feeling natin, ang dami natin magagawa kasi walang proper schedule eh. Mm. Pero in reality, talaga na-stretch siya eh. Di ba? Yeah. Yung chanting, mas na-delay. Yeah. Yung reading, parang mas talong hindi nagagawa. Yun nga yung naranasan ko kasi wala pa akong anything na ginagawa bukod sa chanting, reading, Service. Service. Yeah, service. Yeah. Like, that's it. For yeah. the past, ever since I started practicing, by mm. the mercy of Krishna. Yeah. It's it's good. It's Arrangement uh, din yun eh. Dapat mag-work na ako agad eh. Mm, nga, kung nakuwento mo sa akin yun, nag-start ka na. Parang gusto po niya mag- Sinadya mo ba mag-delay ng grado? Hindi, probably. Ano sinadya mo? Hindi talaga. Try ko siya habulin na matapos na siya in three months. Mm. Pero umabot siya ng isang taon. And it's okay because in that one year, natuto ako mag-chant talaga yeah so ako nag- nag- travel ka together with devotees yeah yeah went to China went to India no? Hong Kong Taiwan alas lahat di ba my experience was the same eh. mm. because at least for me it was you actively looking for a job is it takes maybe like half a day mm-hmm. and, and then wala pa yung your monitor or yung, or yung business nun so aside from trying my best to read and chant and then half a day applying. The other half of a day because I'm not in the temple hmm. is filled with games. <laughs> and na ano siya? Yun ya. Na, na tabunan yung oras ko. Na puro ganun. Yeah. Ano yung mga naging challenges mo nun? Like two years ka nag-work. Ano yung mga naging challenges mo nun sa work and practice and spiritual life? Hmm. And that's the era you're starting well, the practice, yeah. right? Yeah. One is the priority. Hmm. Priority. Because... For right above, she, diba, you were able to travel and all that. Mm. Yeah. But because we don't work, no, no, at least you uh, frozen na mini pia. Mm. Because I had that thing, and it's a, uh, I'm the one who's holding it, mm-hmm. not really pia. <clears throat> somehow, na did delay share. Yung, it ha- yung I have to pause it somehow. Okay. Yeah. Um, you know, you can you can do your best to do it online or. Um, set it up in such a way na kaya niya tumakbo pero dahil wala ka dun ang yung, yung planning mo somehow mapapos rin and yung pagbalik mo you have to like continue again so that's one challenge of working sometimes na uh, pag nag pag pag try ko i-focus yung spiritual life sometimes na napapos to <laughs> yung, um, yung work sa yung work, business o yung work yung uh-huh. business Alas pag work business ako, kailangan ko maghanap ng balance. No? Okay. Kailangan ko maghanap ng balance. Parang finding so, the sweet spot talaga. Sweet spot no? talaga, but is more, dapat, you have to be careful rin na yung focus mo is spiritual life. Mm. Diba? Like, yung, it's, it's in Prabhupada Lilamita, the father of Srila Prabhupada. Mm. He's a, what, cloth trader? Cloth trader, 
by profession, but his real business was puja. Yeah, no? yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so nice, um, no? Actually, ganun naman yun. Your real business mo, like, magiging devotee ka while working. It doesn't have to be whole day ka nag, nasi ka temple nga, nag puja. Yeah. Pero dapat alam mo lang talaga yung priority. Mm. Alam mo yung priority kay chanting. You're mm. gonna do it one and a half hour, two hours. Yeah. Pero it solves yung day mo pag nag-chant ka. Yung spiritual life mo, that's your sadhana. Yeah. Like may sadhana ka na, two, na three hours in a day, reading and chanting. Yeah. And yeah. solve yun. Solve yung spiritual life mo. Little service and all. Kahit mag-work ka ng longer period. Ito pa rin yung priority. Mm. That's nice. Maybe and it, challenge it, talaga yeah. yun no, to find a sweet balance. Ay, a sweet spot palagi dun sa balance. Maybe another one would be when I was working as a corporate. Uh, is the usual thing that you hang out with your workmates after, mm. right? To build better rapport with them. But for me, because come Friday, Friday night, the next morning, usually we go to the temple. Saturday, right? So Friday night, uwi ako. Kahit di ako minum. Kahit di ako nag-engage with what they do. But they still try to, you know, invite me kahit di uminom ganun. But I have these... May, may, ane, may, may excuse ka talaga. May excuse talaga. I'm, co- I'm going. May plano ako bukas. And di siya ma... Ano. So, in challenge there is... Uh, although you're not able to go, kaya pa rin naman mag-build ng rapport with them. Mm. But it's not the same because they're gonna invite you halos like, to every two weeks, every week, and you keep saying no, 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 no. Diba? Hindi ka makakarindig, hindi sila makakarindig yung yes sa'yo. At least for me, na- never around the yes sa kanila once. Uh. So, um, so your challenge there would be is being able to have um, deeper connection siguro with the people around mm. you. Because yun nga, nandun naka-revolve around yung, yung association. You Although, have to be really creative, um, no? Yeah. Well, I try to message them. Siguro yung pinaka-naka-close ko is yung boss ko. Kasi siya na... Or immediate supervisor ko. Mm-hmm. Not yung bo- bo- iba pa yung boss namin. So, siya, talagang ka-message ko siya with how things are ganon. So, madali with, with him. That's nice. You mm-hmm. have to be creative how to have deep connection sa mga colleagues mo. Kasi, hindi ka, na, hindi ka sumasama doon sa recreation na uh, inum or bar yeah. or whatsoever. Eh. Yeah. So, in one way, uh, one way or the other, you have to go around kung paano kayo magkakaroon ng real connection. And then you can see na yung relationship nila umiiba talaga. Dahil... Parang kasi may pinapagsamahan sila. That's all, uh, diba? diba? And then wala ka doon. Mm. Diba? Iba yung conversation nila sa group nila na. Oh, you yeah. can see it, diba? Mm. Mm. Ganun kasi, sadly, ganun ang culture ng, ano, eh, ng corporate yung sabi mo nga eh. You go out in the evenings, yeah. weekend, yeah, bar, mm. intoxicate. Of course, after some time, iba doon mag-iba rin. Diba? Iba mag, yeah. may hobby yeah. sila, mag-golf. Many Sports. of them do have hobbies mm. too. And iba-iba rin siya. Pero yung main thing na group na lahat nandun, di ba? Is oh. usually ganun. Lalabas sila mag-resort ganun. Mm. Or night out. Something like that. Yeah, yeah. So meron din pala siyang parang peer pressure in a way na gusto mo rin i-please. Gusto mo rin makisama. Pero of course, doesn't really um, align with your principles sa buhay. And of course, yeah. may puyat ka eh. Oh. <laughs> And you can see nga, yung relationship is not being... Hindi, hindi siya ganun ka... Ka... Ka deep? Or ka bonded talaga? Ka bonded. I guess bonded. Hindi siya ganun ka bonded. Pero is it, is it positive na hindi, kayo, hindi ka bonded din sa... <laughs> or is it negative? Or may advantage and disadvantage so, for sure. As you said, you have to be creative in a way na maging... Kasi for me... Pwede siya maging okay na ano eh. Uh, like to share to share to share Krishna with them. To share mm. my life with them. Diba? And also to develop like friendship. Mm. Kasi hindi naman sila gross lang talaga eh. They have mm. these they also appreciate rin yung type of like clean life. Mm. So dyan meron rin silang they do have these ano 
habits too. Like, ayun nga yung sabi ko last time, di ba? Parang, na-appreciate ko yung generation nyo kasi normal yung mga walang, or yung mga sober, sober life talaga. Mm. Normal na mga walang bisyo talaga. And, and it's acceptable. And it's still cool. Kasi yeah. yung generation namin talagang, you have to. <laughs> Kung baga, hindi ka pasok. Kahit yung mga, ano, yung mga um, not so, or yung mga tahimik dun sa school namin, talagang ganun din sila. Present sila pag may mga yeah. gatherings. Maybe nag-age na yung mga nasa generation nyo, tapos nakita nila na alcohol ruins lives na naman. <laughs> so, hindi siya kailangan i-force sa isang tao. Hindi, bakit? Yun nga, yung ganda. Siguro, think, is, it, is it the internet information? It's the pandemic, actually, I think. Oh, it changes yeah, na talaga. I think a big part of it is pandemic. Uh, you, you call it the mega trend rin. Eh, na people are more health conscious, mm-hmm. more open-minded in a sense na, okay, these things are bad, these things are actually good. Yeah. Di ba? And then, you see that, ano? They draw you the line. That, yeah. You see that meme where mm-hmm. it's like, forget being successful. I want whatever this is. Then it's just like people sitting in a hut oh, drinking yeah, yeah. tea. Mm-hmm. Ang galing, no? Yeah. Parang, That's common. Like it's become a, it's become its own subculture. But it's not really its own subculture. But global, yeah. because yeah. of pandemic nangyari, ano, ano, ang daming self or pandemic yes. hack. Yeah. But prior to pandemic, hindi ganun eh. May, Prior, may nababasa na. ako. May na, na. na. May nababasa ako yung generation na to. Parang, na-embrace nila yung sobriety. Uh, uh. May ganun na. Pero of course, like yung pandemic talaga, parang, ayun yung nag-peak. Nag-push siya. Para yeah. mag-isip yung mga tao. Yeah. Marami, marami ako, marami ako natutunan ng pandemic. Eh. Pa- pandemic skills na natunan ko, mag, ano, shave ng sarili kong head. <laughs> oh, ay, ako rin. Mag- may haircut nga eh. <laughs> may haircut nga. Oh. <laughs> diba? Yung iba, nagluto. Kung hmm. paano magluto. Diba? Mag-gerto, mag-zoom, mag, mag-set up ng mga sa mic, mag, maging active ulit sa um, technology kasi yung um, connection sa tao, being a temple monk and how to connect to outside people. Nung nag-pandemic, you really have to rely online eh. Yeah. So, ang nag-resort ko noon, kailangan ko aralin to. Hindi <laughs> ako pwedeng mahuli nang nung no trend eh hindi siya applicable ngayon eh you have to adapt yeah. we diba? can hear it in your voice it's so <laughs> mm. ran through her <laughs> podcast <laughs> yeah of course kayo yun kayo yung, ano doon. <laughs> kayo yung mga na connect na connect connect tile during the pandemic and then dami rin and dami rin ano eh parang namulat dun sa life ano bang life outside work kasi Yeah. Ayan yung lahat ng belief yeah. system ng mga tao. Ano yung meaning ng success? Yeah. Ano yung meaning ng joy? Ano yung meaning yeah. ng... Yeah. May trend yun. Parang, I wanna mm. quit this capitalistic society. Talaga? Then, mm. Yeah. Tapos? That's it. That's the meme. That's the meme na. Ikaw, ano yung, ano mo, greatest pandemic um, learnings mo? Like... There's no point in keeping up with all of it. <laughs> one of my na. favorites. There's no point in keeping up with, with all, all of, of it. it. Like all of the, all of the the drama that y- your friends think you need to know mm-hmm. about other people. There's no need to keep up with thinking that you have to be a certain way to feel comfortable with yourself. Mm-hmm. What else? There's no need to keep up with like. Just the, the 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 crowd, the trend. Mm-hmm. Because you can take things at your own pace. You can know about things. You can inform yourself. You can be involved. You can meet me. Like things can mean a lot to you, and you can be. You can still have the desire to help, whatever cause it. It you you could you could want to help. It's just that you don't need to keep up with all of it, in in a pace that's like subjected to you. You can think. Think, think about it internally first and then do something about it. One of the things. What else? For me, time is luxury talaga. Mm. Because um, before pandemic, g- gusto ko mag-read about, ano eh, about meditation, yoga, spirituality, but I had school. I had school, relationship, friends, family. 
so there's no time. No time. Or I didn't make time for it. And then, nung the pandemic, I was just at home, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> After school, um, y- you can go online. Right? Mm-hmm. You can spend time with your friends. But you can, you can be online only for so much. Mm. You know? <laughs> and then at one point, uh, I had this time. You know? I had this time to myself. And mm, prior to pandemic, I was not Doon nagkaroon na ako ng time for myself. Doon, ko, doon ako nagkaroon ng time to, okay, let's read more about what I really want to read mm-hmm. about. Diba? Not what not what other people, yung, yung impressions ng ibang tao sa akin, not what, uh, not things about school. Things na talagang curious ako about. So, kaya yung time is, I guess maybe I had a trend before. Hindi ko lang siya ginawa ng time. But to realize na, yun, siguro, to realize one that you can make time and to actually have time yeah, is very big luxury siya. Because yun nga, not everyone has this. It's a privilege to have time, di ba? Even yung even big business people do they really they really set up their life in such a way they have time for something na na outside of their work yeah no. that's nice kasi like this events people are really forced to meditate to introspect yeah. to really learn ano talaga yung priority sa life yeah kasi ayun nga like parehas kayo sinabi niyo parang bakit pa natin isipin na unang isip ng ibang tao sa atin? Oh. <laughs> Kasi, yeah. you know... Also, it, it, um, another thing I learned with respect to hmm. thinking about what other people think about you, it's like, it takes guts to be real about things hmm. or, or to be honest. And a lot of people may or may not accept it, but if you find the, 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 the chance to really express yourself, that's a... That's a privilege and a gift mm. to be accept to have people who accept you also. But it's hard to be real. Like uh, that's I think that's why a lot of people are, in a way. Like that, like the like the counter side of what I was saying. Apparently, you don't have to keep up with it. The reason why they have to keep up with it is because it's hard to be real. Yeah. It's one way. I think you face on social media, you know. Mm, di mo masabi ko na yung real. <laughs> Aside dun sa gross na nakikita mo sa mm. filters, AI ngayon, di ba? Ano yung legit, di ba? Ano yung genuine talaga? Yung character ng tao, ano sila? Sino sila? Would you really know them while observing kung ano yung mga pinupost nila? Yung, you can. Uh, di ba? Kasi can. it's well yeah. curated. Mm. Di ba? It's well curated. Paano mo talaga makakila- makikilala yun? And paano mo talaga sila ma- uh, magkakaroon ka ng deep connection? Although, although, may transition yun eh. Parang tawag nga natin, may bridging eh. Kailan mo tatawarin yung bridge? Like, you, we met each other online. Tapos, we want to go deeper dun sa connection. Paano mo matatawid yung bridge na yun? And I think, yun yung isang lesson talaga ng pandemic is to really go deeper at the same time, parang going back dun sa first topic natin, pupunta tayo dun sa ano yung plan mo? Ano yung nangyayari ngayon? Then, ano, paano mo na ipa-plan yung life mo? Kasi, yeah. magkaantay ba tayo ulit ng pandemic para ma-realize natin ulit yung <laughs> yung time na, okay, kailangan ko palang ano, um, i-prioritize yung real priority. Di ba? Yeah. Yung way of maturity lang spiritual life is kahit wala pa yung urgency na, I mean, yung yung emergency na yun, may sense of urgency ka na. Paano mo ibabalik yun? I guess, it's with the planning in life talaga. And I like kung paano rin yung sinasabi nyo nga na um, minsan yung mga bagay na pinafocus ng tao, hindi pala importante. Like kung anong inisip nila sa isang tao, inisip nila para yeah. sa atin. Kasi everyone have their own perception. Kasama tayo dun sa may perception nila. Hindi mo pa ding kontrolin yun. <laughs> Dapat ito lang perception mo sa akin. It's, mm, you know. Mm. I got answers from two devotees. How do you keep that 
um, sense this of urgency. sense of urgency mm. without that emergency. Diba? Mm-hmm. Uh, sabi ni Ashu first is, every day you wake up, you have to remind, in spiritual life, mm. every day when you wake up, you have to remind yourself that you're in ignorance. Mm. <laughs> it's the truth. Na you're not pure. You're not uh, enlightened. Enlightened. <laughs> Transcendental. Your true qualities are not showing. Diba? Mm. You're covered in ignorance. And knowing this, reminding yourself this every day, of this every day, mapapaisip ka kung if you're showing up you know, as your real self talaga. And then number two is kay Lalita Mataji. Mm-hmm. I ask her, um, does, how does it feel na say that almost 60? Oh, more than 60? Yeah, 60, more than 60. More than 60, yeah. than 60 years old na uh, you've been serving for so long. Haven't ya? Just goes by quick. Oh. So quick. So quick. You won't even notice it. Haven't ya? Yeah. Diba? So And she's already 60 plus. She's been serving Guru Maharaj for how many years? But even she says that's quick. Diba? So, what more is one year? One year of uh, either doing something very valuable or being very, uh, they call it warm. Mm. Yeah. Lukewarm. Lukewarm. Yeah. That's so nice. Yeah, and you can apply mm. that to like any situation. Whether or not you have a spiritual life, right? Yeah, yeah. you can. Like every day remind yourself you that there's so much you can learn. Mm. Oh and yeah, that you're not yeah. at the best state that you can be yet. But I don't know. It's up to the person to. It's up to, to the also person, balance yeah. it. Because yeah. it's like if you think that you're just not capable, then you can get stuck also. Well, it there's a difference of humility and self-esteem. Because yeah, yeah. You always but, tell me that. Right. But it's nice uh-huh. if you discuss it. <laughs> it's nice. Because <laughs> self-esteem doesn't um, have to be really. Um, Di ko gagawin to. I mean, humility doesn't have to be really. Ni ko gagawin to kasi I'm trying to be humble. So you have to really do it. Kahit di ka confident, mm. Mm. kahit feeling mo baka magfail or hindi ka expert don, but you have yeah. to do it in because of the mood or because of the purpose of serving. Minsan hindi mo nature yon pero kailangan mo gawin talaga kasi you have to serve. Kailangan mo tawirin yung limitation, limiting beliefs self mo. Limiting, yeah. yeah. So, I, mm. kalamot. Yung self-esteem kasi is, ayaw mo lang gawin kasi nahiya ka. Yeah. Mm, mm. So, ang laking difference niya. Yeah. So, waking up thinking na I have to be trainable. I yeah. have to be teachable. Na yung mga seniors, yung mga mentors, yung teacher or yung spiritual teachers, yung mga guru. Yeah, open to... Yeah. Yung personality growth. and character ko ba, kaya nila ako sabihan so I could learn or am, am I defensive? Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, even level of maturity siya. Yeah. Yes, yes. Also, what I like about, this is what I like about spiritual life in mm. general. Like, parang your drive when you wake up in the morning isn't so that you can prove something to some yourself, at, le- at least yourself, not other people. I mean, for, for material life, it's like you have to prove something to yourself or other mm. people. It's not like that. It's more like I have to be open in a more humble way yeah. to, to life circumstances so that I can form my spiritual identity. My spiritual... Like, not form. Uh, reawaken yeah. my spiritual identity. And then, like, it's not ego-based. Like, hindi, kaya ko to. Like, you'll wake up like that. I mean, it's nice to have that passion yeah. and dovetail it, for sure. Yeah. And I, I'm sure I've had experiences like that in my practice na parang hindi kaya ko to ganun yung pang drive ko pero iba eh iba yung mood na parang hindi kaya ko lang to if bigyan ako ng chance mm. ni Krishna na gawin to like iba yung ano yun iba yung mas maganda yung feeling niya kasi yeah. hindi yeah. like the, the credit is not to me the yeah. credit of what what I can do is not to me the credit of what I can't can't accomplish is out of my control. Like, I don't know. It, it depends on the person, but... Mag-iiba talaga lahat like kapag ano eh. I like the fine line na parang I'm not doing this yeah, yeah, yeah. for my ego. Nag-iiba talaga lahat kapag you don't care about who gets the credit. 
Diba? You, you just serve. You just do it. Of course, it was a work. Diba? Sometimes you have to really show up na ito yung nagawa ko, ito yung present of kalamo report eh. Mm. Pero iba yeah. yung magiging credit grabber, syempre. Mm. Yun yung ano no, parang automatic when when Krish, when you're doing everything for Krishna, you're neutral. Like you become very neutral because you're not chasing after the credit, di ba? I mean, you want to do it, you want to serve. Pero ay mo yung spotlight. Yeah. Ay yung qualities even outside even yung mga leaders na hindi yes. Krishna conscious. That's eh. what I see from seniors. They're so detached, mm-hmm. but at the same time they're very involved. Yes. With yes. whatever they're doing. Yeah. We were learning a lot from them. So, ang ganda pag umaga pa lang, ganun na yung sinaset mo. Ganun yung mm. affirmation mo. Mm. Na val- gusto mo i-validate sa sarili yun mo. Yun pa lang, pag-start ko pa lang eh. Yung nat- nat- natutunan ko yun. Sina- ikaw ata nagsabi nun eh. What? Kasi, someone was asking about attachment. Mm-hmm. Like, how to deal with attachment. And you were saying something like, you're involved, but you're not attached. Oh. So, before, like, I'd be like, I'm involved, but I'm not attached. And <laughs> I just chat <laughs> <tried> like that. <laughs> Well, was it in the workshop? Yes. It's a workshop, yeah. No, no. Galing, galing. <laughs> like, I just say it to myself again and again, even if I didn't necessarily know what it mm. meant. Like, it just... Galing just, na mo pa. Yeah, it just <laughs> struck me. Because that can be to anything. Yeah. Umaga pa lang kung ganun na yung meditation natin. No? It's gonna be a good day. It's gonna be a good day. But actually, hindi, hindi lang sa umaga. If you have that mindset, like, today, and for starting now, and then you look at yourself after 10 years, 10 years back, grabe yung growth na makikita mo sa sarili mo as a person. Na if ganun ka every day. Yeah. Diba? So, na, there, I had an experience na, yeah, because you get into Krishna consciousness. Eh? You have mm-hmm. to be humble enough to accept that you don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know. You don't know anything. You don't know how to be Krishna conscious. It's so all coming from the teachers. You don't know even how to be a good person. Mm. Diba? All these things. Na experience ko siya, like, is related to how people is outside. Then. Um, meron akong experience na coming out of, siguro, first year, after first year college, my life was more, I just do what I want. I, I cut class, ganun. Just hang out with friends. And then, there's a time na, because roommate ko nun, ex maging roommate ko si Peter. Mm. And si Peter is the type na... Si Peter yes, yung elder brother mo. Yeah, older brother. Si Peter is the type na... he Yes, he, he parties. He likes to party. But he also... May, maybe like times five effort when it comes to studying. Oh. Showing up in class. Showing up in like student organ and everything. So... He was the one who was telling me na uh, we had a talk eh, na hindi nakikita where I'm going. Hindi nakikita. And then he was saying, he's just really coming from a point of concern because he doesn't want me to be like everyone else na maybe na, na, na wala sa path na could have been. Na maybe went to just na barkada lang. Or very less than mediocre, you mm-hmm. He didn't want it at that time. Na paya ka over, kasi parang na ano yung pride ko, eh. na smash eh, na smash eh. Nung inisip ko nung una parang try try ko defense sarili ko. Oh, then try ko naman best ko, eh. ganon eh. Pero yun yah. At one point, I realized ko the same same night nung nag-usap kami na uh, what you said is about you have to be humble enough to really accept na there are things na one, you don't know. One, you can improve on. Mm-hmm. Diba? And hindi, hindi, hindi rin siya dapat magiging part of the self-esteem. Na dahil narinig mo itong mga to, iba yung humility, iba yung self-esteem. Diba? Pag naging part of self-esteem siya, pag narinig mo yung, or lack of self-esteem, pag narinig mo things like this, you become defensive. Yeah. Diba? You become so defensive, diba? But if you're really humble, then you really try to do something about it. Learn about it. Mm-hmm. Learn, learn kung anong lesson yung sinasabi nila. Yeah. That's what's good about um, being a student of bhakti. Kasi you see everything in your life, even outside so-called spiritual life, 
Because of course, yung back the practitioner naman kahit nasa work siya lahat nakikita niya. Yeah. Um in the eye of scriptures in the eye of bhakti. Mm. Pero naghahanap siya ng mga teachers niya magturo kahit yung, yung older brother mo yeah. or mayroon kang leader sa work titingnan mo yung mga magagandang qualities doon. You just want to learn. You just want to um absorb ko ano yung pwedeng magagamit lalong-lalo na pwedeng i-fulfill sa spiritual life. I guess it's part yeah. na di develop mo yung character, yung qualities natin para mas ma-improve natin yung paano tayo mag-serve kay Krishna and sa devotees. Eh. Yeah. And also, you know, the things that we've learned in Bhakti, if we learn it earlier, mm. especially, I, th- I always think of that. Eh. If I know what I know now, when it, <laughs> and then I was in first year college, and then I know Hare Krishna like that, life would be so different. Ganun, ganun yung ko. Kasi iba talaga eh. Yung, what you learn in Bhakti is when you apply it outside, you... Number one, it was cause of trouble. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Number two, you get to really mold yourself in a way that y- you want to. Right? Hindi yung, you're just a victim of your circumstance, you know, which is what's happening. Uh, even in Bhagavatam, they say that. Mm-hmm. Especially in Kali Yuga, everyone's mostly victim of their circumstance. You know? And then, yeah, and then you get to be Krishna conscious earlier. You know? Kakaiba lang kasi. Madalas yung narinig ko yun eh. Dahil pala nagsimula na ako mag-practice dati yung unang nakilala ko pa lang yung mga devotees. Pero, well, there's a, may choice pa yun, may free will yun. Pwede naman talaga nag-practice yung nakilala. Pero, kung wala naman, um, ako nakikita ko siya as Krishna's timing eh. Yeah. Uh, minsan, yung iba mag-practice too early in their life pero ang dami nilang unfinished business outside. They want to do this right now. They don't respect you. Ng sarili na ng progress or sarili na ng attachment. They just want to jump o cold turkey. Mm. Yung mga dapat gawin. Mm. And after some time, parang tawag nga nila eh, yung jargon nga nila, shooting star eh. Yeah. Pubulusok, tas mawawala. Nawala yung enthusiasm. And it's nice that, you know, actually early nga eh. <laughs> early din yung practice yeah. eh. 2020s is, is also early. No, no, my realization there is just, oh, I just do, I just have to do it what I know now. Yeah. Just Ay, apply importante. it now. Hindi yung, the, the, hindi yung 30 years from now, I'm gonna think the same na dapat in-apply ko what I know now then because I can do it now. The, the better place and the better time is now and here. So, yeah. gawin mo ngayon kung na meron ngayon. Yeah. Your girl Maharaj loves that quote, you know? The, uh, act in times with the, yeah. The, forget, the, the, uh, forget the past that sleeps. Mm. Yeah. Ganda na, ang ganda ng quote namin. But but never was that. But never the future dream at all. Dream at all. Yeah. So nice. Mm-hmm. So nice to be present. So nice to learn from the past. It's also better to have good plans, but not too much plan. The drug niya is suck out niya yung life air mo, just because of worrying and si- anxious ka dun sa future. But you have to learn how to really live the present. But living that present is actually relying on how you practice your spiritual life talaga. Mm. And you work around yung life mo out, yung mean, life mo with work, with family, with that spiritual life. In that sense, kapag meron kang center sa life mo, maganda talaga yung ripple effect niya eh. And of course, yun yung center mo na yun si Krishna. Mm. Yeah. Maganda yung magiging ripple effect talaga niya. That's what I was thinking mm. during this whole discussion. It's like, if you have a center point in your life and you know that this which was what this practice gave us like a lot of us are like this now like doesn't matter what happens throughout the day as long as I get to chant Hare Krishna then somehow or other things will work out like that's that's the mentality I hear from a lot of devotees when I was starting out but if you actually ask someone like what it's hard for it's hard for me because I like connecting with people a lot. Mm. But then when I ask someone like what what makes you happy nowadays? Like what makes you feel like life has been meaningful? Mm-hmm. Like it's hard for them to answer. And I feel like I'm insane because it's like <laughs> <laughs> oh did I just ask the wrong question? You just, mm. you, you'll just ask yung mga yung mga surface question na lang kasi parang mm. malalim ba yun? Hindi <laughs> naman hindi ko binabawi pero okay. parang baliw ba ako? <laughs> 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 Para mong tanong na. Pero Mm. Mahirap siya sagutin. 
Oh, it's hard. It's mm. hard, diba? Well, ayun na may hinarap ng bawat tao eh. Paano yung, yung answer dun sa question mo? <laughs> yung iba lifelong. Lifelong journey yun para mahanap yeah. yun. Ano yun eh? Mahirap siya isipin eh. Yeah, siya may isipin. ibang tao na parang ganun na eh. Parang, hindi, huwag na lang natin pag-usapan yan. Okay na. Lang, na. Ako, dun na lang sa distraction, dun, yes. sa entertainment mm. na lang. Mm. Yeah. But that's what, I, 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 I guess, that's what attracted me when I read the Bhagavad Gita before. Mm. There was something saying in the introduction like, it's the, philosopho- it's the philosophical conclusion of all philosophical conclusions. Yeah. yeah. That's like, you, for me, it's like, who wouldn't want to hear that at yeah. least once in their life? Whether or not they take to it or not. Yeah. That's so nice. That's so nice. And I really enjoy this conversation. Sobrang. Good na pilot episode to. We talk about the the transitions. Ano yung mangyayari transitions. And of course, yung near future na mangyayari din sa atin. Looking forward na matuloy-tuloy natin din to. And of course, those who are, um, who will listen to us could also Um, we will really appreciate kung yung mga suggestions that they want us to talk about or to adjust. Yeah. And it will be nice also to, for people to be involved then. Yeah. <laughs> Wonderful. Talking about yung first question, what's happening? This November, very soon, some mm. events coming up. Mm-hmm. Um, is thinking about these events, the retreat, mid no- mid November, and then DT installation end of November. Yeah, we gotta go to yeah. Oliver's place. Yeah, Oli- yeah, Oliver's place, and then we have the December uh, December seven back to party. Back here. to party. It's tuloy tuloy siya, and then of course, the mm, marathon distribution of yeah, books, the book book marathon, the festival yeah. of yeah. Handles. So much happening, and uh, for me, masaya ako. Then there's so much to look forward to. At the same time, uh, things that are going on now, like podcast, mm-hmm. making content, is all is all very fulfilling. Because you know you're you're acting for a higher purpose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hindi lang siya retreat na retreat lang, hindi lang siya party na party lang, hindi lang podcast na podcast lang. It's all to really deepen our Krishna consciousness. Yeah. And excited din ako dun sa, kahit di excited si Radha Bhav, excited ako dun sa magiging work niya and yung yeah. mga kwento niya sa atin. Mm-hmm. Because she never fails to, to update us and really appreciate that na anong nangyari, anong ganap dyan. Uh, We're looking forward to the prasadam that you prepare. Mo. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's gonna be nice. And ginagawa yeah. niya yung ano eh, everyday reel. I wonder ano yung mga magiging next reels na videos and yung mga um, realizations mo pag next start ka na ng work. Ano yung mga oi kakaibang realization yata. Ah. I'm looking really looking forward to that. Yeah, because you, you also don't. At least for me, I don't I don't really see anyone na ganon na no online. That they bo- both have yung bhakti and they work and then they make content and then they have work and then parang they may marry nila itong these three things and mm-hmm. then they show how really yung it's a wonderful content diba? bhakti work how it all really plays diba? let's see if I'll do that yeah let's see mm-hmm. let's see yeah But that's what bhakti is. <laughs> yeah. It's a culmination that's the of essence. it's a culmination of material life, turn it to spiritual life. Yes. Yeah. So like see. let the iron turn into gold by putting the iron into the fire. They say strike when the iron's hot. But there's also a saying you strike until the iron's hot. <laughs> <laughs> no. That's all nice. Mm-hmm. No, before I started working or before I went full time here, diba? there's a time that na I'm mm. because I'm not full time, but mm. I'm working outside, but I want to be full time, <laughs> but I have a job. Ganun. And then uh, we had a call. We had a call yeah. to go in there and I. Mm. Tapos, siya. 
Tapos kinukwento niya na sumiyak siya dun sa situation niya. Yeah, if he called niya. me, I'd laugh. <laughs> 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 if he called me, I'd laugh. I know. Insane. <laughs> <laughs> Baka kaya ako yung tinawagan niya. <laughs> tapos, tapos. And then, yun nga. Uh, actually, mag- maganda yun sabi na you can dovetail this eh. Hmm. Uh, it's, a, it's a stepping stone towards uh, going full-time. Yun nga. So it's like, if hindi ko ginawa yun and just let things be, hindi siya mapupunta sa point na where I am now. And yun yung striking until the iron's hot. Di ba? Hindi yeah. di mo siya papabayaan lang na speed. I think that's me now. I mean, the reason I have a job is because it's required by my family. Mm. Uh, other mm, than yeah. that, then then I think it's a stepping stone for me. Yeah. Take fully into my practice. And, and for me, like in my yeah. head, it's like, I guess if I take to the path of being employed long enough, then eventually I can stop being employed and then I can go full time. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Marami kasi talaga yung pate. Um, kanya kung paano mo yung hanapin yung journey mo sa spiritual life. Eh. Meron talagang mahabang mahabang full time devotee then after some time sa life niya, uy gusto ko naman mag, mag work, mag business. Meron naman nag-business, nag-work, tapos gusto mag-full-time. Merong full-time yes. lang, dire-diretso, and meron ding nag-work lang, dire-diretso. And yeah. lahat yun, eligible to practice bhakti. Mm. Eligible to to receive your mercy ni Krishna. To be eligible to receive your yeah. love and yung um, affection ng guru and yung connection sa parampara. So, yeah. lahat siya, ano eh, perfect path eh. Basta nandun si Krishna, ayun yung perfect path. Kung... Anong way yon, Anong road yon, Basta pupunta, pupunta mo si Krishna, pupunta ka doon. Yeah. Mm. That's so nice. And yeah. Yeah. Thanks. It's a good reminder for me also. Yeah. That it's like, yeah. Y- yung being full-time is not the goal. <laughs> yeah. No, I guess it's like, if I, for me, it's like, I know that I have to take this job. Yeah, of course. I know I have to take this job, but it's nice that I get to take this job for Krishna. It's you better are. If I, yeah, it's better if I think that I have to take this job for Krishna. I'm thinking that somehow, but when we have it in discussion, it's like it puts it into stone more in my head. Parang uh-huh. mas naging form yung thought. Galang no, the, the, the things that you're doing. That's the real um, dovetailing. The things that you're doing you just have to change your consciousness. Na para kay Krishna pala to, eh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Kahit matagal mo na ginagawa yon, tapos pumasok sa yung Krishna consciousness. Ay, wala pala ako talaga kailangan baguhin ng like major. Babaguhin ko lang talaga yung consciousness ko. Ay, para kay Krishna pala talaga to. Diba? And that's back to you. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And that was a long outro. Long ending. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. And again, um, really grateful for your, for doing this. And Maganda maganda talaga yung sangga kapag you're with your um, wonderful devotees, friends, and of course, um, ride or die is a practice in back. I appreciate you guys. Hare Krishna. Krishna. Wait, isn't it nice? Like, we used to be just your listeners. Now, we're in the... We're here. We're in the oh, scene. yeah. That's a nice question. That's why. We're that's why I'm, I'm really amazed looking at you now. <laughs> listening. Like, ah. Oh. <laughs> Listener lang ako. Ba't ako nagsasalita? <laughs> Joke na. Like so. Sorry, like so. dapat gusto. <laughs> the tables have turned. <laughs> Lumaki lang yung table. Lumaki lang yung table. <laughs> Nawala yung table. Nawala yung table. <laughs> <laughs>